can make a, a difference like uh, to create a new report or in modification of the existing report what activity we can do so if you have seen this diagram okay. at every step there is a very high probability of improvement if you are using any etl tool you can blindly I and mean, you cannot directly blindly go and use get that etl tool uh, perform your logic in case of logic also you have to make sure that logic will work precisely very accurately so we would be also learning the performance improvement scenarios now if i can explain it, one performance improvement scenario there is a concept called as if you go to power bi there is a concept called as query folding now query folding is nothing but is one of the best performance improvement approach in power bi now how a perform i mean how a person can improve that query folding how a person can make sure every data set is a query folded that we have to learn so that is one performance improvement option available in power bi in case of modeling also many people will be stuck if you are working on modeling many people will be stuck at a certain point which is nothing but a circular dependency how to remove that circular dependency also that we would be discussing that is nothing but your performance so in every tool wherever performance improvement is required definitely i would be explaining all that performance improvement i have listed down two in power bi in case of etl also in case of adf also which activity is the best for which kind of data that is nothing but your performance improvement